Hello children, how are you all? I hope you are happy and healthy and studying also. As you all know, we are revising Honeysuckle, your book. It is your textbook and we are revising chapters of Honeysuckle. And we have revised two chapters. Today we are going to start third chapter, Taro's Reward. So let's start and you just take out your book, Honeysuckle book, chapter number three. Taro's Reward. Taro Rewards is a popular fairy tale in Japan. It involves the story of his son Taro who wanted to fulfill the wishes of his father. Taro was a poor boy. So, let's start reading an explanation of the story. A young woodcutter named Taro lived with his mother and father on a lonely hillside. All day long he chopped wood in the forest, though he worked very hard. He earned very little money. This made him sad, for he was a thoughtful son and wanted to give him Oh, his old parents everything they needed. Now in the first paragraph you can see Taro was a poor boy. He earned money by chopping woods from the jungle. But the money he earned was not sufficient for him and his parents because he wanted to give relief and satisfaction to his parents because he was very poor but his desire was to fulfill the desire of his parent. Now we are moving to the second paragraph. One evening when Taro and his parents were sitting in a corner of a hut, a strong wind began to blow. It whistles through the cracks of the hut and everyone felt very cold. Suddenly, Taro's father said, I wish I had a cup of sake. It would warm me and do my old heart good. Now, whistle means, here you can see, whistle do, through, pass through with a whistling sound. Now, in this uh, And cracks, narrow gaps and opening. Sake. Sake is a very popular Japanese drink. So it is called sake. So he desired. That day what happened? One day it started blowing cold winds. All people in the home felt cold due to the wind passing from the cracks of the wooden house. His father wished if he had or could have some sake to energize his heart. Sake is a popular and costly drink of Japan. So that day he was desired that. Now we are moving to third number, third paragraph. This made Taro sadder than ever, for the heartwarming drink called sake was very expensive. How do I earn more money? He asked himself. How do I get a little sake for my poor old father? He decided to work harder than before. Now he started thinking about very seriously about that. Because he was so poor and he won't be able to uh, earn money that time, much money to uh, buy that type of the very expensive drink, sake. He was so serious. He was so uh, deeply, you can say, um, very deeply thoughtful that day and he was very sad. Because that day he was realized that he would not able to fulfill the desire of 
his old parents so so uh, taro was sad and he did not have money to buy the expensive sake now here you can see we are moving to fourth paragraph next morning taro jumped out of the bed earlier than usual and made his way to the forest he chopped and cut chopped and cut as the sun climbed as soon he was so warm that he had to take off his jacket his mouth was dry and his face was wet with sweat my poor old father he thought if only he was as warm as i and with that he began to chop even faster thinking of the extra money he must earn to buy the sake to warm the old man bone now here you can see he decided to work hard next day he woke up early and went to the forest to chop wood suddenly he was started chopping and chopping and chopping and when he got tired he again thought about his father uh, shiverness or uh, so he started again chopping and chopping and chopping i was just gathered more woods more chop sticks for the uh, you can say to sell in the market to get money more money for that so we are moving to the number 5 then suddenly taro stopped chopping what was that sound he heard could it be could it possibly be rushing water taro could not remember ever seeing or hearing a rushing stream in that part of the forest he was thirsty the ex dropped out of his hands and he ran in the direction of the sound now the unusual thing was happened he was thirsty he was uh, worked so hard he was sweated and he was just suddenly he heard the sound of falling water it perplexed him as there was no river here earlier so he just thought about that and he was just running through toward the direction of the water sound now taro saw a beautiful little waterfall hidden behind a rock kneeling at the place where the water flooded quietly he cupped a little in his hands and put it to his lips was it water or was it sake he tasted it again and again and always it was a delicious sake instead of cold water now here you can see suddenly he heard the sound of falling water it perplexed as there was no river here earlier so since he was also thirsty he followed the sound of water soon he found a waterfall behind the rock he went near to the fall and put his hand in the water to his amaze he discovered that water was not water but sake he became happy and felt some sake in his pitcher and he was so happy because what ever he desired that was happened now number 7 taro quickly filled the pitcher he had with him and hurried home the old man was delighted with sake after only one swallow of liquid he stopped shivering and did a little dance in the middle of the floor now so what happened uh, uh, upon reaching the house he gave this sake to his father the father sipped the sake and started dancing with joy because that sake was full of energy drink now we are moving to number 8 that afternoon a neighbor stopped by for a visit taro father's politely offered her a cup of sake 
The lady drank it greedily and thanked the old man. Then Taro told her the story of magic waterfall, thanking them for the delicious drink. She left in a hurry. By nightfall, she had spread the story throughout the whole village. Now, greedily it means as if desiring more and more. Now, here you can see that afternoon, the one lady was visited, the neighbor was visited and she stopped for a visit. Taro's father politely offered the drink of sake, a glass of sake and she drank and very quickly, very hurriedly, she left uh, their house and she went and spread the news that sake was collected from the house of Taro. So the woman happily took the sake. Father told her about the incident which happened to Sa uh, Taro. Now this woman spread the news to all the people in the village. Every villager rushed to Taro home and tasted the sake. And now after that you can see that evening there was a long procession of visitors to woodcutter's house. Each man heard the story of the waterfall, took a sip of the sake, in less than an hour the pitcher was empty. And each and every uh, citizen of that uh, little village, little town, so they were visited to the uh, woodcutter's uh, home and everybody tasted sake one by one. But what happened that day? The sake was finished because everyone was tasted that. Now we are moving to paragraph number 10. Next morning Taro started for work even earlier than the morning before. He carried He carried with him the large pitcher he owned, for he intended first of all to go to the waterfall. When he reached it, he found to his great surprise all the neighbors there. They were carrying pitchers, jars, buckets, anything they could find to hold the magic sake. Then one villager knelt and held his mouth under the waterfall to drink. He drank again and again and then shouted angrily, Water, nothing but water. Others also tried, but there was no sake, only cold water. Now here you can see in this picture. Next morning what happened? Taro woke again very early, searched the biggest pitcher and went to the waterfall. To his surprise, he found that other villager were also going to the fall. Soon after, before reached the fall and tasted the sake, but they found the water of fall was not sake, but plain water. People became angry and decided to draw near because they were getting very angry because they were there from the morning. We have been tricked. Take means deceived, shouted the villagers, there is Ta where is Taro? Let us drown him in the waterfall. But Taro had been wise enough to slip behind a rock when he saw how things were going. He was somewhere to be found. So he was clever person Taro and he was just heard about their noises and uh, people became angry and decided to draw Taro into the fall. So Taro hid behind the rock and waited till all the villagers went home. So he was just waited over there very wisely and he was nowhere to be found. Muttering their anger and disappointment, the villagers left the people one by one, the place one by one. Taro came out from the, his hiding place when it is, when it true, was it true? He wondered. Was the sake a dream? Once more a caught a little liquid in his hand and put it into his lips. It was the same and fine sake, 
to the thoughtful son the magic waterfall gave the delicious sake to everyone else it gave only water now here you can see the fall was giving taro a sake while to villager it was giving plain water so that was true he was tested that the story of taro and his magic waterfall reached the emperor of japan he sent for the young woodcutter and rewarded him with 20 pieces of gold for having been so good and kind then he named the most beautiful fountain in the city after taro this said the emperor was to encourage all the children to honor and obey their parents now here you can see the story of taro's care for his parents reached the king he rewarded taro 20 pieces of gold to encourage other children to take care of their parents so you can see how he cared his parent and how he always thinking about his parent the benefit of the parent and he was very trustworthy about his duty also because he was a poor woodcutter and he was ready to cut all the woods as soon as possible to gain more money to buy sake but the magic was happened that day the sake was there in the plenty full of stream so now here you can see it's a miracle of god that god has provided a beautiful thing to that hard working poor boy taro now this is the japanese story as you all know and uh, we just talk about the moral of the story we should take care of our parents and elder god helps only those person who takes good care of their parents so always remember if you take care of your parents god will bless you god will give you best thing in your life so always respect your parents and take care of your parents so children let's move for the question and answer working with text answer the following question why did taro run in the direction of the stream how did taro father throw his happiness uh, after drinking sake why did the waterfall give taro sake others water why did the villager want to drown taro why did the emperor reward taro so now here i have written some answers i am going to show you you just write down all the questions once again because it's your practice time so write down it again now we are going to write the answers why did taro run in the direction of the stream taro ran in the direction of the stream because he was thirsty secondly he had never before heard the sound of falling water in that area now we are moving to next question how did taro's father show his happiness after drinking sake after drinking sake his father warmth as well as energetic he stopped shivering and started dancing so all of you write down first answer and then second answer is there and now we are moving to third answer you just take a screenshot also first and second and then we are moving to third answer why did the waterfall give taro sake and others water taro was a caring and thoughtful son therefore the water waterfall obliged taro and change water into sake 
as a reward for him but the other people were greedy so it remained plain water for them so write down this all of you this is fourth third question now we are moving to fourth one why did the villagers want to drown taro the villagers when uh, went want to drown want uh, sorry the villagers went to the waterfall to collect sake to collect sake but they got only plain cold water they thought that taro had deceived them so they looked for taro to punish him so complete this answer also the villagers went to the waterfall to collect sake but they got only plain water they thought the taro had deceived them so they looked for taro to punish him now we are moving to the question number 5 why did the emperor reward taro so write down question number 4 and answer number 4 and now we are moving to number 5 so this is the answer of number 5 the emperor of japan rewarded taro for being good and kind towards his parents this was emperor's way to encourage all the children to respect obey and serve their parents so write down question number 5 answer number 5 the emperor of japan rewarded taro for being good and kind towards his parents this was emperor's way to encourage all the children to respect obey and serve their parents so complete it now after solving the question and answer we are here mark the right item taro earned very little money because he did not work hard enough the villagers did did not need wood the price of wood was very low so put a tick taro decided to earn extra money to live a more comfortable life to buy his old father some sake to repair cracks in the wood to buy his old father some sake so complete this now third number the neighbors left taro's hut in the hurry because she was delighted with the drink she was astonished to hear uh, taro the story she wanted to tell the whole village about the waterfall so this is the correct option now we are moving to working with language strike off the words in the box below that are not suitable taro wanted to give him his old parents uh, everything they needed this show that he was thoughtful hard working loving honest considerate efficient kind so b is you can write so uh, taro wanted to be old parents because they needed to show that he was thoughtful considerate now you can write honest trustworthy and efficient so which are not suitable that we are going to cut it out so because uh, many of the adjectives are correct so we are just cutting down honest and trustworthy and efficient because 
thoughtful, considerate, hardworking, loving and kind, these are the correct one. So these are really uh, fitting to Taro. So this made Taro sadder than ever. This refers to this refers to a strong wind that began to blow Taro father's old age, Taro's inability to buy expensive sake for the for his father. So now here, here you can say mark the right item. This said that emperor was to encourage all the children to honor and obey their parents. The most beautiful fountain in the city rewarding Taro with gold and giving the uh, valuable things found in his name sending for Taro to hear the story. So now in this answer you can uh, write the correct one that is the rewarding Taro with gold giving the fountain his name. So now we are moving to the next. Arrange the words below in the pairs that rhyme example young, lung, money, sunny. So we are going to do this. So you can do sad, bad, sad, bad, chop, stop. Chop, stop, last, fast, vex, x, now these four you just write down and after that we are going to write more, could, would. Could, would, and then sound, round, and then way, and day. So, this way you can complete this exercise. Now we are moving to fill in the blanks with the words from the box. So now start filling this. Young woodcutter lived on a lonely hillside. He was a thoughtful son. thoughtful son who worked hard who worked hard but earned little money little money one day he saw a beautiful beautiful waterfall hidden behind a rock he tasted the water and found it delicious. So you just complete it. Now we are moving to the second one. Second one is find the sentences in the story and fill in the blanks. So we are going to write, this made Taro sadder and then he decided to work hard, harder and then next morning Taro jumped out of bed earlier. Earlier, 
earlier than usual. He began to chop even, even faster. Okay, so write down this. Now fifth is next morning Taro started for work even, even earlier. Again you will write earlier. So sadder, harder, earlier, faster and then in the end of this earlier. So speaking and writing, we are moving to speaking and writing. Speak the following sentences clearly but as quickly as you can. So this is your speaking practice and uh, so this is also for speaking practice and now this is dictation work. Now this is the, the story Taro's reward shows that Taro is thoughtful, hardworking and also wise. Read aloud the parts of the story and show these qualities in Taro. So these are the things you have to write. And uh, now write a paragraph on two about these two stories, comparing them. So these are all writing section that you should complete it and all the exercises we have done today. So all of you start preparing for exam and learn this chapter once again. So till then bye bye and take care.